What's up guys? So we're headed to Beverly Center <clears throat> to pick up my pen. I just got it engraved. It was done like two weeks ago, I just didn't have the time to go. So we're going today, it's a Saturday, and we're going to be comparing a $300 pen to a $3 pen and see what the major differences are, if there are any. We are here at the Beverly Center, parked my car, just to pick up my pen, but my wife wanted to come here specifically so that she could shop a little bit. Where's my watch? It's not displayed, but that's fine. Watch is not displayed anymore. Where's my watch? There. I have that one. That's cute. The B. Chinese New Year. Huh? Chinese New Year. I think this is what you wash dishes. No, it's not. It feels like this is what you wash dishes with. Twenty-seven, eighteen. 
<sighs> yeah, that one. Did I tell you I hate shopping? Oh, I love that sign. Oh no. She's going into another one. Oh crap. I'm gonna chill out here because I don't like shopping. So I mean, she'll call me when um, I need to pay for the item, I guess. <laughs> The new design. <laughs> this is supposed to be like that? I, I don't know. This is a v neck. Yeah, I think that's that's an actual design. <laughs> I'm on my way back, well, I'm on my way to a different shopping area. But the lady behind me she is one stupid lady here. She kept honking at me because I wasn't going forward, but there's a car in front of me. Um, so, she, so yeah, there's a car in front of me, right there. But the thing is, it's off to the right. So that car, so the car behind me can't see the car in front of me. And it was honking at me saying, why aren't I going? Stupid, I mean. Stupid. I hate driving in LA, period. It's like the worst drivers in the world get together and drive in LA. But, whatever. I excuse stupidity for the most part. But when someone sits there and starts honking at me, saying I'm not going forward when there's a car in front of me, that angers me a little, you know? I mean, what's your hurry? You're in traffic anyways. You're gonna weave in between cars? We're gonna get there maybe like a second before. Either way, shift over to the left, you'll be in traffic. Shift over to the right, you'll be in traffic. Don't honk. Uh, stupid. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> so I don't know where that lady went. I think that lady went to the left lane. But yeah. And it was, it was funny, it was, it was, I was looking at my mirror and she was like, she honked and then she pointed at me through my mirror and she's like, move forward. And then I looked at her and I said, you're stupid. You know, hopefully with that, you're stupid. The mouth, you know, because obviously she can't hear me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I keep telling you guys that I drive a lot. I drive a lot, time-wise. Mileage wise, I drive nothing. So, when I say I drive a lot, it doesn't mean I drive a lot of mileage wise. It just means I'm stuck in the car, usually in traffic. It's just fine with me, I don't mind. It's just when other people start honking and blocking roads and. No. Oh, come on. No, I try to tame my road rage as much as possible. Especially because I know that I used to rage a lot. I mean, rage to the point where I'll get out of my car. In my younger days. But I'm here for more freaking shopping.
All right, so if you've seen the video, I just came back home and we're going to be painting up the Mont Blanc pen with um, a, a whatever pen that I enjoy very much. One of my favorite pens right here. Um, my actual favorite pen is a Pentel pen. All right, guys, so we're back um, up close now to kind of pin up the Mont Blanc pen against my two other favorite pens to see if there really is a difference. Now, I got this Mont Blanc pen as a, uh, as a gift from my wife, and she kind of gave this to me as an accomplishment for my education. Um, so that was cool. I've always wanted one. I just never justified paying $300 for a pen. So let's go ahead and pull the Mont Blanc pen out. And I did get this custom engraved. I'm not sure if it'll focus. Maybe I could toss in the background right here. There we go. That's my last name. See that right there. Let's go ahead and take this pen apart. We'll go with this assembly first. So that's the top barrel. That's the bottom barrel. And this is the Mont Blanc medium black insert. Okay, so I haven't really used this pen all that much. As soon as I got it, um, pretty much I got it sent in to get it engraved. So I did sign a few things, but that's pretty much the extent of me using this pen. Feels great though. It shoots just enough. My first luxury pen. That's interesting, but the good thing is Kind of the whole reason why I got, um, this is one of my other gifts, but the reason why I got this Mont Blanc pen is because she got me a Mont Blanc wallet as a birthday present, and then she tossed in a pen as well as a Christmas gift, but really it's just a big birthday gift. Let's put these two away. Now, I haven't used this pen far enough for me to justify anything whatsoever, but just um, from the, I guess, the week that I had it before I sent it in for engraving. I took it to Mont Blanc, they engraved it for me. Um, they charged me obviously, but they had it for a good three weeks. So yeah, all right, let's get on with it. Let's first grab the Mont Blanc, let's open up the barrel and let me just write my name. Okay. All right, so Again, nothing feels any more special than the other. Now, one of my all-time favorite pen is this Pentel RSVP Medium. And I've liked this pen so much that I actually used it almost all the way down to the last part of its ink. Again, we'll write my name. And the last pen that is now growing on me very much is this Uniball Signo 207. It's about a $3 pen, but this is, um, has grown on me quite quickly and become my everyday pen. Yes, so what writes the best out of these three? I think the Signo still writes better. Now the top one is the Mont Blanc. The middle one is the the middle one is the um, Pentel, and the bottom one is the Signo. They both have not been written for at least a few weeks, so it's pretty much the first roll. I'm pretty sure after we keep writing on it, it'll look better. Now this is not my signature, guys, so. Just want to let you guys know that. Um, I don't know. It, it it feels pretty good, I guess. And you can see the color there. The uh, the uniball is much darker, darker black. Um, 
I could see why the Mont Blanc will grow on somebody. The more I use it, kind of the more feel I get for it. If you look there, they are all varied pressures and varied speeds. Now the first two, the Pentel and the Uniball, no matter what speed or pressure I put, you cannot tell the difference. But with the Mont Blanc, um, at first glance, a little bit harder pressure. And as we go along, faster and less pressure. And the lines do get thinner the faster we go. This is very interesting. So, I anyways. So it gets really messy, these fountain pens. Yes, they do. And I've just never been a fan of fountain pens. It just never grew on me. So I always liked ballpoint pens, good ballpoint pens. And my favorite of them all was this Pentel. It got me through all of high school. <laughs> This is one of my favorite pens ever. I wrote so many papers with this. It's just big. It's nice. That when you put the back cap on, it's very long and I have large hands. Really good to do little flip tricks with. You see it's in between these two fingers. You flip it around. It's between these two fingers. I did this a lot during my days, during my um, high school really days, uh, my college days as well. And uh, my grad school days, I just don't write anything down anymore. <coughs> um, grad school, use computers. But yes, it, it, this, this has been through me. Like been, this, is, this has been with me forever. And it just works. It's got to be one of my favorite. It has the very good combination of flexibility as far as um, smoothness and comfortability i guess everything in a pen uh, this is one of my favorites recently um we bought a big pack of these so this this pen right here this one it has grown on me is now one of my favorites it just it, it writes the smoothest out of the three and it takes very little pressure so relatively speaking right for a pen it is so freaking expensive Build quality, does it have better build quality than any of these two pens? Well, I don't think so. I mean, besides the fact that the the cover is resin, which again, a lot of covers are resin. Um, I don't know, down here it says made in Germany. So un under the pen cap here underneath, it says made in Germany, and then you do get that Mont Blanc signature star. Will you focus? There we go. So besides the slight little details, is the build quality any better? I don't think so. I just think it's like a normal pen. There's no specific better build quality that I can see about it. It seems like the uh, there's a spring down here and just a normal twist mechanism up here. Time will tell if uh, the build quality will last. I'm pretty sure it will. Most of my pens do last until they run out or I lose them. That's what scares me the most about this is that I might lose it. By the way, this cup by Frigidaire. Um, I bought it, I bought this cup today after going to the Beverly Center. We hit by another um, shopping center and I bought that frigid air cup. It has a cap too. Frigid air. It has got to be one of the most best freaking double dual walled cups ever. It keeps my drinks cold for hours. So I've been using that and it's been fantastic. Um, back to the pens. So to sum it all up, um, this pen is not worth the money. In my opinion, if you get it as a gift, it's fine. If you work in an office and you do a lot of signing, again, that's fine. Uh, for me, I got it as a gift and I will be using it. I'm not going to be babying this at all. There's no point. It is an entry-level luxury pen. 
Um, so that's going to be in my pocket most of the time. And I'm going to retire these two pens as far as signing goes. But I'll still use these two as my main writing pens that I put on my desk in my pencil holder. That's my two favorite writing pens. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a great night.